let us discuss uh, how the eye develops. On a, cr a transversal section through the embryonic head, in the fourth week, we would notice that two structures are growing laterally from the diencephalon, which is the second brain vesicles, vesicle. These are optic stalks that end with the optic cup. The surface ectoderm, which is in the proximity of this optic cup, reacts with thickening, thus forming the lens placodes. This will be the future lens. So this is the head ectoderm. It's a section through the embryonic head in the fourth week. And the, this is the diencephalon. Laterally growing optic stalks. Ending with optic cup. And the thickening of the head ectoderm here is the uh, lens placode. In more detail, the lens placode interacts with a surface ectoderm which proliferates to form the placode. It's a typical example of induction, so there is an interchange, interplay of various signal molecules. Um, let me correct one term, this will be the optic vesicle the optic cup stage comes the next one because a week later if this was week four then in week five we already have an optic cup with two layers and the lens placode becomes actually a lens vesicle that it's invaginated inside. So this thickened material is invaginated inside. It's invaginating inside. So there's the optic stalk. Optic cup. And that's the invaginating lens. In seventh week, all the basic layer of the eye are already formed. So if this is the wall of the diencephalon, this is the optic nerve, that's what the optic stalk becomes. two layers of the optic cup become the two layers of the retina the lens will become an independent object with the lens epithelium and lens fibers, making it a solid organ. And on uh, the surface structures are already present. It's the palpebra, the conjunctiva sac, the cornea, the again conjunctiva sac, lower palpebra. Below the, uh, the 
optic nerve, you have an artery called the hyaloid artery that provides the nutrition for developing eye. It penetrates the, the bulb and it undergoes uh, branching here on the retina and the branch continues to the growing lens. The other uh, layers of the eye bulb, it's uh, the vasculus layer, which comprises the choroid and the ciliary body and the iris. which is basically smooth muscle with some connective tissue. So it's the vascular layer of the eye bulb and the outer is the fibrous layer represented by the sclera. Both these are by the way from the mesenchyma, so we got the sclera. as a scheme and then we got the cornea uh, the fibrous stroma of the cornea because the epithelium of the cornea is of ectodermal origin so uh, the inner space here is filled with loose mesenchyma that will turn to the vitreous body. So let's label the structures. This is the diencephalon. Part of the brain from which the optic nerve rows. Here are the two layers of retina. The inner, the nervous layer of retina and the outer retina layer which is the pigment layer. This is the mesenchyma, which turns to the vitreous body. This is the hyaloid artery. This part, after the lens will finish, uh, will complete its, its um, development, this part of the ar artery will disappear and only a uh, hyaloid canal will persist in the vitreous body. The rest of the hyaloid artery will be later on called the central artery of retina. And we got the vascular layer so it's the choroid the choroid the ciliary body the iris which is here and we got the outer, the fibrous tunica, 
which is a sclera and here the cornea. This is the palpebra, the conjunctiva sac. Here we have the lens. We know it's of the ectodermal origin. I will go back to this relation between optic nerve and the hyaloid artery because the optic nerve makes this kind of uh, fissure into which this hyaloid artery with the accompanying vein are moving. So in week 6 this optic stalk uh, is kind of embracing these hyaloid blood vessels And this fissure is called the choroid fissure, which is supposed to be closed in week 9 so the optic nerve which comes from the optic stalk contains the central artery of retina and the accompanying vein of course one more note to the retina layers if this would be the pigment epithelium that has a shape of simple cuboidal epithelium then the first layer of neurons would be the photoreceptors the rods and the cones the second layer would be the bipolar neurons and the third layer would be the ganglionic multipolar neurons the axons of which form the optic nerve so this is the pigment epithelium the outer one And this uh, is the first layer of neurons, the photoreceptors. The second layer, the bipolar neurons. And the third neuron is the ganglionic, are the ganglionic neurons of retina, the axons of which constitute the optic nerve. That's not a complete structure of retina, that's just the order of the neurons and by the way the light comes from this direction to the photoreceptors through the thickness of the retina. <coughs>